Hey, I'm Sarah, and this is my husband, Wolfie. We live in the Highlands of Scotland, and a few months ago, I decided to start sharing our adventures. This week, we headed towards Inverness for a couple errands, and we decided to go to one of my favorite forests in Scotland. We used to spend a lot of time here when we lived in Inverness, and now it is a cherished destination whenever we're nearby. So let's take a walk in this enchanted forest together. Hey everybody! I just finished a bunch of yard work and now we are headed to Inverness to run some errands in the big city. And then we are going to go for a walk at one of my favorite forests in Scotland, which I lovingly call Fangorn Forest. Let's go! When I first moved to Scotland, we lived really close to downtown Inverness. And while it was a really cool city, we very much prefer to live in the countryside. But it's always fun to visit, and there are a few shops we can only find in Inverness. I used to sketch a lot by the river, which runs right through the city. It's actually a really great city with so much diversity, and definitely worth a stop if you're in the Highlands. Within 15 to 30 minutes, you can be out in the countryside, and there are so many cool places nearby to explore. But as I said, we had a very specific place in mind, so let's go to the forest. So where are we? We like Glen. No, we're supposed to say Fangorn Forest. We like Glen. So where are we? We like Glen. <laughs> we're Fangorn Forest. <laughs> Come on, it's so magical. So where are we? We like Glen. <laughs> so ignoring Wolfie's anarchy, we continued down the path deeper into Fangorn Forest. To the left, the Moniac trickles over mossy boulders and provides a natural air cooling system, which is perfect for a walk on a hot day. I've painted on these banks many times. But the real magic lies in the magnificent trees, some of which are the tallest in Scotland. This amazing collection of mossy beech, towering pine and fir trees provide a sanctuary of peace as you wander the groomed trails. If you listen closely, you can hear the ants whispering to each other high above. And don't forget to say hi to Dougal Moor, better known as Big Douglas, who sways over us at over 200 feet, or 66 meters high, and was recorded as the tallest tree in Scotland. There's the waterfall. I've painted that a few times. Yeah, we've been over there. Yeah. I always thought that this looked like a face. Like, those are the two eyes and this is like a bunch of hair. Oh yeah, last time we were here, which is a few years ago, we walked along this, which had just caved in, and now we have the, there's this nice new bridge. One thing I love about this forest is that it's full of so much variety. 
There are some areas where the trees are so densely packed and covered in moss that it gets so dark and not really spooky, but feels very enchanted. I actually painted this when I first started really getting into gouache, like a few years ago. It inspired me so much. It's still one of my favorite earlier gouache paintings, which is rare. <laughs> Usually I just never look at them again. One time we were here, Wolfie found a perfect walking stick and it had like a gnarled end on it, so we call it our Gandalf stick. just so enchanting. Like you can't not feel like you're in Middle Earth when you're here. The videos will never be able to do it justice. There's just so many ants I want to talk to. But we have to go. I hope you all enjoyed this little walk through the forest. If you did, please make sure to give the video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more in the future, make sure you subscribe before you go. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon.